Uh huh. GMHC. Oh, this is GMHC? I love I didn't know they were so colorful. I love those wings. Thank you. You really do look great. I'm just going to see right over here. Sure. I want to find songs on some of these other groups. What group is this? Spectrum of Ithaca, Spectrum of Ithaca College. The what? Spectrum of Ithaca College. Oh, really? We're all in a school group. Oh, Ithaca! Oh! I think Ithaca has a course in transgender studies. Am I right? Because I interviewed some woman at a transgender meeting. She said they had a course in transgender studies. Well, we just added a course that's like full on LGBT studies, but it did have a good focus on transgender studies as well. They're trying to add more courses to it right now and make a whole minor out of it. Wow. Yeah. You're way ahead of all the other We're colleges. doing what we can. No, but I don't know anybody else. There are other, are other, I, see, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Do you know that? Are you much more ahead than most colleges? I mean, we have like one of the top rated like LGBT friendly colleges like in the country. So it's just like a really open place and safe place they for everyone. They want me to it's come and speak because I'm Randy Wicker. I started in 1958. That's and fantastic. Were, but it was so far. So, it's great where we've come. So it's your generation that helped get us here. Yeah, now I'm, I'm going to ride in a wheelchair down Fifth Avenue taking it easy and having fun. It's time you can let other people take over. <laughs> That's why that was the whole purpose. I don't have to worry now. When I started, there was no one but me. And 18 people in Madison in New York. And then Stonewall happened, and overnight there were thousands. It was just, we had the room filled with funerals. We, we wrote out what they wanted, and then they finally embraced it with Stonewall. Thank you. That's fantastic. Keep Thank up you. the good work. What is what yeah. is the what is this? Aperture. And what is that about? We are a community health clinic. Yeah. That service the Asian Pacific Islander um, rim of people. And um, we are all we opened up to the public for everyone. We're out here to help uh, stamp out stigma for HIV and AIDS. And where We're trying to bring people together as one in a unity so we can all survive on this planet without any hatred or anything. So you originally were fo focused on what group? I'm sorry? What you began for, what is, I mean, where you Okay, it stands for Asian Pacific Islander Coalition Against HIV and AIDS. Oh, great, great, great. Okay. I'm looking for Saga. Are you part of Saga? No, Saga um, is another organization. Okay, well anyway, so where can people find you? We're located at 400 Broadway in Chinatown. Oh. And, and we, we have, have a, a lot of clinics, a lot of clients? We, we have a lot of clients, but we have a medical clinic, and we also have social services. We also set up people for um, insurance if they don't have any insurance. And we also deal with a lot of undocumented people. I was going to say, you have you have translators of the languages that you We have translators for Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, French, Russian, Italian, Hindu, Indian, and... What's the difference between Hindu and Indian? I didn't know there was. Yeah, there's a difference. Yes, there is a difference. <laughs> And um, we service all those different populations. Well, you are you are a real groundbreaker. We're trying. We're trying. Because you know? I say the problem with America is we have to reach out to all the LGE people on all, the, all, all, the all over around. the world. All exactly. over the world, we are spoiled. We have it made here. Yes. You know, and we, and we need to reach out to our it. other people. We sure do. We do. And people, you know, unfortunately, we have a lot of people that don't believe it reaching out to others, but I'm a true believer. There are people that are afraid to reach out because they're undocumented. You know, they face deportation. Right. They don't have papers. Right. You know, they don't know that if they come to you, that they could come to you safely. You're not going to blow a whistle and turn them into And my main, my main objective is to help stamp out stigma because, yes, I am HIV positive and been HIV positive since 1982. And right now, my T cells are 11, 1180, 1180, and, uh, me. 
and I am totally undetectable. I'm going to tell you something. My best friend in life, my main helper, my computer man, was an African American. When he zero converted in 2008, he hid it from me. And I didn't even, all his friends knew, but he hid it from me. And he died. And I hear it from me. I know why, because I would have been on his case about taking this. I thing. know. He thought it was a conspiracy of the drug companies to sell drugs. I know. And he died. I went to his funeral. I would never, I, you know, I, I, I always, way, I always get the, the help way, that I need. The way, the way that you're doing, you've got to also convince the people that don't believe. Thank you. Because that would be the worst thing. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. <laughs> 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 it's going to be okay. It's only 33 years old. I know. Everybody thought it was funny. It worked for me for five years. Even his best friend said, Randy, you, and it's A.D.M. LaVar, you've been going over to Randy's for five years. There must be something going on. They, they all assumed that I never, I never even saw him naked. But the poor guy was saying, well, it's always, even his he said, Randy, you wouldn't believe the people. The people should know better. They say, yes, I think there must be something. You know, I, I used to say he was falsely accused of being my little chocolate cookie. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you.